Hello, Monarch fans, and welcome to Monarchs Live here at Fargo's Newman Outdoor Stadium. Dan Vaughn with you, the pregame uh, f- uh, Facebook Live here as we uh, give you a little preview of tonight's ball game and uh, get you ready for the finale. Don't forget tomorrow night, Monarchs return home to uh, Legends Field in Kansas City for the Cleveland Railroaders. Should be a big matchup, but uh, first things first, a couple of things to get to. If you missed it this afternoon or actually this morning on Monarch Smoke at lunchtime, they made a change to the American Association playoff picture, and I want to give that to you quickly uh, in case you missed that earlier, but there's been a change uh, as far as uh, what will go on in the postseason. New playoff format, Board of Directors of the American Association approving this last week uh, and announcing it today, a new format. Second and third place clubs will face off in a play-in game, a one-game play-in in the winter. That second and third place uh, one game plays the first team. That's why it's very important to keep winning, keep doing what you're doing, and keep taking care of business. And Joe Caff Pietra and I talk about that tonight on the top step. I ask him about that, and that's pretty much the theme. And, you know, uh, you, you can't really control what is thrown at you obstacle wise and all that. Just keep doing what you're doing. You should be fine. And it really behooves you to finish first in the division, not coming as a wild card because you're coming as a wild card, that third place team will be right on you. And, and the interesting thing about that note right now too, is the third place thing. It's not Sioux city or Kleber necessarily. It could very well be uh, Lincoln Lincoln's right in there. They're a game and a half off the play off that spot. So there's all that involved. And then Lincoln can win the one game and boom, there you are the nemesis. Delicious baseball being played in August in the American association. So that was the Sam dude again. Um, Tonight, pitching matchup, uh, Kiba Sampson going for the Monarchs and be facing Gage Hens for the Fargos. And I don't have those numbers pulled up, but I'll pull them up for you right here. As we got him right there. Uh, Hens, he's got a 6.31. He's 4-4. Four and four. 17 out of third innings, uh, 87 hits, 50 earned runs, uh, 54 strikeouts, 42 walks, league batting, uh 302 against Hens, H I N S Z. Kiba Sampson, former big leaguer. Uh, it's really his second big start. He had that that early kind of test, his second time uh, on the rotation here, and he'll be going tonight for Kansas City. Uh, that's the matchup. Uh, top of the next hour, we're about an hour away from first pitch on AEBaseball.tv, and we'll be on the air in about 30 minutes, a little less than that, about 24 minutes will come your way from here at Newman Outdoor Stadium on Mix LR. We'll talk about that in a moment. First off, lineup card tonight for Joe Caffey. After as much, looks like this. Morgan McConnell will lead off. Uh, Morgan's hitting streak stopped last night, but he reached base, but uh, still in a very good groove. He'll lead off and play short. Ryan Grotejohn about second at second base. Really, uh, you want to get to one of those underlying things that's happened in the series. Fargo's been able to solve those two. That combo plotter is usually pretty tough. They've been able to solve them. I've got them. A combined, uh, let's see in the series. Yeah, combined. Uh, yeah, they've they've combined for only the two uh, three hits, and they've really solved them in the series. So that's been a real big plus for Fargo. Darnell Swinney, not guy they've not solved. He'll bat third and be at third base. The great uh, Gabby Guerrero's in right field. Guerrero batting cleanup. He's also been in a good group. So is Casey Gillespie. Casey batting fourth. Uh, putting, uh, yeah, batting a fifth rather. He's at first base. Uh, Gillespie. And a very good group as well. So was Connor Wills. He'll bat sixth. He's in left. Charles and Burks will be in center tonight. And Burks batting in that seventh spot. Will Kinger had that hard luck out last night in the ninth inning. Will will bat eighth. He'll be the DH tonight. And batting ninth, Daniel Wazinger. Wazinger is your catcher and has been also pretty solid. Uh, this note, too, for Wazinger batting 300 in the road. So that uh, is a plus as well here. Morgan McCullough, Ryan Groh, John Darnell, Sweeney, Gabby Guerrero, Casey Gillespie, Connor Willis. It'll be Charcer Burks, Will Kinger, and Daniel Wazinger. That is your lineup card tonight. And again, we'll be on the air. American Association TV top of the next hour. A few folks that want to get the video side, see our friend Jack Michaels, who's next door right now, enjoying a chicken Sammy. He's getting ready, ready to go. He's ready to go tonight on the AA baseball side. Uh, we're on the radio side over here. Love to have you on and and uh, love to see you on Mix LR as we'll be on there at the bottom of the hour. It's a pretty loaded pregame show for you here. Got your uh, uh, Monarchs 101 with DV. We'll uh, go to the final st- chapter of Satchel Page in North Dakota. 
talk about that tonight. Also, Coors Light flashback moment. Joe Cath Pietra stops by for the top step. Brought to you by your Midwest Ford dealers. Got your Providence Medical Center health report. Uh, what else am I missing? Uh, oh, American Association numbers. All that coming up on the pregame show tonight from Newman Outdoor Stadium here in Fargo. A little overcast today, but uh, hey, ready to go for baseball. Ready for this final and uh, trying to avoid the broom. Also, Fargo's have been on our tail this week and a couple of hard luck losses. Monarchs look to rebound tonight. And if any team can do it, it's this team, the Kansas City Monarchs. All right, Monarchs and the Fargo Moyne Red Hawks, top of the next hour on the TV side, uh, Bob of the Hour on the radio side. I'll see you on the broadcast. Don't forget tomorrow night, Monarchs in Cleveland. Gates will swing at six. Railroad is in town for four. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a loaded homestand. Come and see us for tickets, monarchsbaseball.com. And uh, you can also, also head by the box office tomorrow, but monarchsbaseball.com, that's the easiest place to go. We got a loaded uh, tomorrow night's uh, pepper eating, Friday night Disney characters. I mean, we've got a, got the uh, Catalina Mixer on Saturday night with Rob Riggle, a Sunday bark in the park. It's loaded this weekend. We want to have you at Legends Field in Kansas City. Again, a broadcast in a few moments. I'll see you the broadcast tonight. Go Monarchs!